EA Sports coverage of the NFL is in Houston, in the Space City at NRG Stadium. They do it big here in Houston, and a second ago, it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. This will be taken short. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And now the Seahawks are going to take a timeout here on defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So first and 10 now from the 30. Play action for Miller. Now Watson. Well, he's going to take a shot right away. It's caught inside the 25. A big play there on the first play of the game. 51 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use momentum to launch another one. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. Set, check, 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 check. Tight ends Ringo. Tight ends on Ringo. Tight ends on Ringo. Maybe a free play for Watson. It's caught. It's Miller. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. So with the completed pass and the yardage they got, they'll decline the penalty. So obviously more yards on the pass completion than they would have gained with the penalty. They did the math. They did it well, and it works for them. So now then the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And yeah, now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They'll try to punch it in with Miller. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Taking it in from a yard out. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Well, that's a solid opening drive. And nothing fancy there at the end. Just pounded in. That felt like old school football, didn't it? All right, down at the goal line. And not only were they able to punch it in, as you just emphasized, they did it against a goal line defense that's stacked to stop the run. So if you're on that offensive side of the ball, you feel great about yourself right now. You were actually able to dominate a group that expected you to run the ball and still punched it in. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's Carson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run it with Carson. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. On second down, it's Carson. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. On third down, Carson. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me... Their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. A first carry now from Arshon Lynch. And a good burst there right from the start as he'll get this one out near the 35. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. 
On second down, Lynch. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Marshawn Lynch, 35 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Myers connects on the PAT, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be taken about the 12. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? they got to be confident. And the Seahawks defense gets to him, and they bring him down. Bobby Wagner, the former second-rounder out of Utah State with a sack. Throwing on second and long. Watson, and this one grabbed by Darren Fells. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. These two teams all tied after one. Now it's Watson going deep for Hopkins. It's caught inside the 25. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. DeAndre Hopkins, 60 yards. And the Texans have taken the lead. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Wilson hit, it's loose, it's out, fumble. And the Texans scoop it, and he will take this down to the 10-yard line. With no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, it's going to be hot routes. If they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback, they've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case, ah, uh, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Second and ten on the Seahawks 10-yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Watson with a give to Miller. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. He gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. On third down, Miller. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Watson going to stay out there as they'll go for it on fourth. And my goodness, this is incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Seahawks able to come up with a goal line stand. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And a fumble last time, ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Now it's Carson. 
It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. On second down now, it's Carson, and he is going to lose yardage here. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. On third down, Carson. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. They'll indeed go for it with Wilson, escaping the pressure right. He may try and run for this. Uh, he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Throwing again on second down. Wilson, he had some success as a runner previously on this drive, just not as much space there that time. Yeah, this time when he pulled it down, they were ready for him. So I think he's going to have to fling a few in order to open up that running lane. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Mike 55, Mike 55. From midfield now, here's Wilson stepping up. He's going to keep it. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Steps away to his left. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. To throw again on second down. Wilson, and he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Here's Wilson, and he's got the hook up to Moore. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. On comes the Seahawk kicker here on fourth down. It's Jason. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And this one will not work out. It is incomplete. It would have been a long field goal. The fake doesn't work out. And this Texans defense stands tall. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 30. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. A final shot before the break. Watson going deep here for Stills. That's caught inside the 20. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? I know this defense knew it coming into the game, Charles, and they know it even more now. DeAndre Hopkins is a tough cover. And anytime you see him out there and there's less than double or triple teaming him, take a shot with it. Just what you're talking about. If he's such a tough cover, one guy's not going to get it done. Throw the ball out there. Let him go get it. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. 
and I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real, I'm doing it, though. This is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. So from the 36 now, first and 10. There's Wilson to throw. Forced out to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept their minute by making the plays that they've made. And that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Here's Wilson. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. The Clemson product, DJ Reader, got in for the sack. Here we go on fourth with Wilson. And this is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Texans take over an excellent field position. On first down, Watson. And a catch made by Hopkins. And they take this one in for a Texans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins. 38 yards, and the Texans push further out in front. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, being on second half, no matter what, whether it's first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain, so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter, as he'll go for it on fourth down. They'll roll him out right. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Bernardrick McKinney, the linebacker, picks it. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. They'll try and get the run game going. This is Miller. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. Out of the gun, Watson. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Dish
EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D as their guys will do battle with Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers. This is fielded at the goal line. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And that's Elliott, complete. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big points. Trying to get it to Cobb, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Eric Reed, And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Now they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You going to let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. This sack by Robert Quinn. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. Back to throw, Newton. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and ten. 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. A first down carry by Elliott. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it'll be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. That'll bring up second down. Elliott running right. And I think the ball's out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That yeah, was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know it's coaches are screaming. Just hang on to the ball, man. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst... And look at this, it's a fake. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. So they get the first down. Maybe not a huge play in terms of yardage, but the fake punt does the job. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott, and this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Check, check, walk 54, walk 54. Come on out here. Come Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 33. On first down. It's Elliott. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. A loss of two there. Second down. No score after one on EA Sports. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Here's Elliott. And not much running room. Down to the 32. They got to get to the 23 here on third. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. That one complete. Elliott. And down inside the 15 he goes. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 14. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Got the guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Prescott to throw it. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab as his guys are first out of the
the scoreboard here this afternoon. Forbath able to convert the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. Forbath to send it away now following the touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guy's a little bit jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you well, understand yeah. the same way. It's just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went three and out. And now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'm trying to do better here. <laughs> It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. What have you seen so far? Well, I think they've been absolutely terrific because it feels like on every play, if we were watching this in the film room, when they clicked off the film or stopped it, you would see 11 shirts of that same color right there in the frame trying to tackle him. That's what you're looking for. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. It's celebrating, and off he goes. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 25 yards, the pick up there, and also a first down. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. off the field here they've converted once on this drive on fourth they'll go again and try it once more here we go on fourth Newton. he's gonna go up top for the and that will be caught by Moore he's got a Panthers touchdown DJ Moore there to make the grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Two 
The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock down and go to the locker room. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Prescott up from the gun. Cooper's got it. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. And again, it's Prescott. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And with one second left, they get the timeout. And they'll have a chance to kick the field goal before intermission. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. And Forbath will put this one through. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. That's it, baby. We got work. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. A pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes us forward for about six. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Now a first down run is going nowhere. He's going to be dropped in the backfield, a loss of two. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. On second and 12, Newton. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Kill, kill, kill. A shotgun snap for Newton. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Leighton Vander Esch wreaking havoc with a sack. Newton now to throw. And he finds a man. It's Olsen.
That pickup goes for 25. What a flip of the script from fourth down to first. First down, Carolina. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 26-yard line. No, no, no. Gun, gun, gun. Newton to throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Newton now to throw. Dancing to his... And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The tank, Demarcus Lawrence with a sack. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. Out of the gun, Newton. And that is incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And his kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And that will knot us up at 10. So they come away from this opening drive in the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he's brought down after a very nice game. He got 29 yards that time. Prescott now from the 50. That's complete to Cobb. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Back now in Arlington. Knotted up here at 10. That's our score as we begin quarter number four. Prescott on first down. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. They can't stop Bruce Irvin there as he slips in for the sack. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott caught by Cobb. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. The Cowboys on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and four. On third down, Elliott. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. They have the first down with that gain of four yards. Hasn't been his best afternoon on the ground, far from it, but a critical third down conversion. This afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. Hasn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we want from you. That's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott, and he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Taking it in from two yards out, and they are able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. Format, the extra point, and that makes it a 17-10 score. 
Forbath to send it away now following the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. You got it. You got it. This run defense has been pretty stout all game long. Now you're here in the fourth quarter. Should lie more on the passing attack? I don't think you have any choice, and I don't think you have to dress it up at all either. Throughout the first three quarters, you're still trying to convince the defense that you may run the football. That's out the window right now. Protect, let your quarterback operate, and try to find some targets in the open field downfield. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Newton, meanwhile, here connecting with McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Now it's Newton. Wright's got it. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. He'll look to throw. And, oh, a crook. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> they don't care if it was luck or skill. But the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. He's back to throw, and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They snap it to Newton. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Jeff Heath. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. Now Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. And this is caught by Winton, the tight end. 
Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. That'll do All our hard-working crew, I'm Brandon. Fell on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter, at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.